All right, we are in fish and guts and blood. Let's go. Man, he's just doesn't want know what to do. Oh yeah, I know how to move. There's a lot of fish for some reason. Sharks, yeah, there are a lot of sharks around. Ooh, a lantern. Hell yeah. Alright, I can pick an object, don't worry about it. I got some kind of wire lock. Wire lock? No. Iron clippers, or whatever this is called. Alright, there you go. I have disabled the uh, subtitles. Ooh, what is this thing? I can't pick that up. What a putrid offering. Uh, I'm not an offering, asshole. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Yeah, that's what she said. Sorry, that's what he said. Oh god. Oh wait, wait. Am I here as well? I hate whiskey. <laughs> whiskey is the cause of this nightmare, I wonder huh? Why I still take these things. The doctor prescribed them when I returned from the war. They sore that they would put an end to the nightmare, but for a while now their effects have been wearing off. I see. J to my diary. PS Investigation Agency, my private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to put, I decided to set up in Boston where there's no lack of for guys like me. One small time case follows another, adultery, settled score, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, and I should probably get rid of them, these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. We got clues, we got inventory, my old lighter, understandable. We got... what the... <laughs> what is this? Okay, I guess skill points, is that it? Nightmares. Never gonna go back into that menu. Don't drink. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Ooh, can I uh, can I see your nightmares? All right, so what's my goal? Yes, please shut that thing up. Natural sciences. Yeah, sure. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a prime detective who's got proof against you. Ah, I see. Oh, look at that. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract. I used to be an avid reader. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Okay. Her husband couldn't understand it. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. 
Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentwood. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh, wow. Is that how we're going to do it? What? Okay, I have... Okay. Occultism. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. Medicine represents your medical knowledge. Investigation represents your investigating talents. Strength represents... Okay. Equivalence represents your ability to influence other objects. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Okay, I do want to upgrade this thing. Yes, I want to upgrade that thing. Definitely want to upgrade this thing. Guess investigation is kind of bigger. Psychology represents your be your psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving the skill will increase your chance of understanding motivations of a person based on his behavior. Uh, strength is already three, so I'm not gonna bother upgrading that. Okay. Am I done here? Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... No, my character is not that bad looking. I'm coming. Oh, God, Sir, no. I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Not impressed, sorry. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Alright, that's some dark shit. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. All right, That's so how all am I going to do? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Alright, so I don't need to read that, since I am following the case. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out the part of the address. Warehouse 60, 36 Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a 
domestic incident, but they nevertheless insisted Sarah Hawkins' mental faculties. Why? A press cutting an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a reclusive life where there with their only son, Simon. I see. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? You shouldn't take this painting lightly. I read about her mental in a police report. Something is not right with the story? Find out about... Uh, the yeah. sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Alright, I will do that. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Ah shit, that's Sarah where the trouble begins. Her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. All right, that's enough. Uh, but we also have this thing. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You I must can, find actually. the meaning behind all this. All right, I will I do that. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let us sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of... Promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer, but it's not like I have a choice. Also, my man doesn't have a choice. In century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of this moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their god were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants and sons and daughters of proud whale hunters are still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small island off the coast of Massachusetts. I see. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water.
house there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A ah, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbormaster's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Alright, thank you for that kind information, good sir. Also, there's a killer whale over there. Let the police do their work. Ooh, what happened, sir? Same goes for you, sir. Move along. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me? These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. But if that's a dead whale. Knew. Why would you put the back in the water? The Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn to accept some friendly advice. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. Okay. It's fine. That's not gonna stop me though. Something real bad. Hmm, surprise in the bar. Alright, no. I'm more interested in the documents, I guess. Hello, good sir. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clean. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Okay. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I get from them. Okay, I got manifest. Asilla. This blackboard has fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. In the bathroom. There's nothing here. Why am I here? Get out! Nothing strange about this place, honestly. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. <laughs> I just took the book out of his hand. Okay. What you got? Um, I have one point available. Not gonna use it right about now. Alright, we got our characters, painter, schoolboy, and ship owner. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity on Darkwater. Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. Only son. Alright. 
Few dates are still legible, 1990-1907 and a date and the rest of documents are blacked out. Why want this? Who would want this information to be hidden? Chapter 1 and 2. Okay. Oh, we got places, dark water. It would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isolated rock off the coast of Boston. It is a small, inhospicable island where coastal line is made up of steep cliffs and sharp reefs with only one outlet to the sea. It's mainly inhabited by the descendants of the whalers who set up a supply post there in 19, 1800. It was hit severely by collapse of this activity. I think that the only venture on this island is still that is still profitable is medicinal medical institutes. Darkwater port. Sure. Alright. Uh, where am I going even? This man and Fitzroy could be twins. The man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of the ship. He has a wooden leg. What a macabre souvenir. Alright, anyway, let's get out of here and go to the bar. Oh, talk to Fitzroy. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Okay, uh... Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Oh, uh, kind of. I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners. And the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. Oh. Oh, I wonder. Uh, bringing shipments, right, from for the occult, <laughs> most likely. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. I don't Understood. know what a jetty is. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? I've you got no idea. Me, I thought you would have worked it out. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Oh. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Oh. Your father. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see Oh, that, that thing is a wooden leg. I thought it was a scope. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. I should not have said that. Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. All right. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. I will. Oh, I got another CP. Nice. At least I need three, I guess.
the fuck? <laughs> Dude, keep that shit in your mouth. Hey, be careful. You scared the shit out of that guy. Hey, you must be cat, huh? You look like a figure who might be a cat. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm sorry. What are you looking for? Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Knew it. Screams. There was some cult activities inside there. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? What can you tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. It's not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision? Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? Yeah, um... The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of when our whaler... It was a tough time. Ah, but... I'm trying to get impatient here. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. Okay, I don't trust that, but okay. I think we'll get along well. Okay. Can I move? Go now? Okay. That'll be all for now. Oh shit, this will affect my destiny. Well, I'm sure it will affect my destiny greatly. Hey you! Another break? You're suspicious as all hell. Can't you see that we're in the middle of a conversation? I told you to... I told you to beat it. Fine, woman. Uh, am I done here? Okay, get inside. Oh, wait, there's someone else. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whale. Unlocked answer. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about that dead li We're not speaking ill. We're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking- It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. 
Okay, I don't know. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Uh, Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Every... What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Uh, what? I bid you farewell. Good night. So Shut up, what? The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Alright, let's see about this. We had given up hope. The crew of Truce, uh, the Selea, Sila, or what remains of it, returned to the Darkwater port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. The people were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch that the brave vessel had on board. The sight that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whale. The, the creation that is already being called the malacarous catch covered the whole deck and the parts of it were hanging from the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening uh, account of their perilous catch but also of this meat, unmatched in quality and plentiful nutrition benefits. There is no doubt the immense size of the whale will allow the numerous inhabitants of the dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine that from which the part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Mark is putting his warehouse up for rent for June offshore fishing. Special fishing at Stranded Whale. To celebrate the return of the brave whalers. I see. You have no right to treat us like this. So they caught something that they shouldn't have. They have no idea it might have not been a whale. Might be a spawn of Cthulhu. That would have been fun. They ate the old one. Or the great one. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much. I shall take my leave. Alright, yeah. I can decide on my own. Find the hidden item. Is that one right? Is Am I in the right one? It looks one? like there's a way in under this grate. Alright, so am I the... Am I in the right place? That allows me to go in investigation mode. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Okay. Oh, I can use this. Alright, I have a couple of... Oh, what is that thing? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Is that's a bone? Okay. L okay, parts. Uh, yeah, sure. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Got the handle. This handle will be perfect for the winch. Alright, got a cogwheel. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Please tell me this is the last item I needed. Alright, so that icon indicates that there is uh, more things around in my area. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn... Let's turn this damn shit, man. Ugh. Hello, green smoke. Hopefully it's not methane. <coughs> oh, what's going on? I'm dying. I am dying. Am I dying? <coughs> what the hell is that thing? Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> Okay.
How do I drop my lighter again? I can't. Okay. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? Oh, shit. Oh god, I'm already having visions, aren't I? This is... primitive. Oh, this place stinks. Am I in the warehouse now? What is the con- uh, I have three. Oh, I have three of them. Alright, so what do I... Psychology... Spot hidden... Would make sense to upgrade this, but I need six points. Four... Alright, can't upgrade it's anything. Between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case. All right, let's go. What did I do? What happened here? Am I Sherlock? The shit is Sherlock, right? Who has enough money to buy painkillers but stays in a place like this it smells as bad as it looks what the hell is this thing is this one of sarah hawkins paintings okay le petit parisian who might keep a news clipping about sarah hawk can't sleep i know how that feels what the hell is that thing okay it's just a raincoat Am I done? What did I get? Well, I would love to do this. Right? Okay, I have to add upon this. Okay. Yeah, sure. Mental trauma. Power of speech. Occultism, most likely. Medicine and occult can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. I didn't mean to put that here. G to remove. Guess I will put this in here. Yes. So I have better conversation with characters and find out more of this shit they know. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is, has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Uh, let's team up. From when else is interested in Hawkins, the case is far being wind up. Should I? I don't know, let's do it. You sent your men away. I see only one overweight police officer and one hardened veteran. How dare you? I am a representative of the law. <laughs> Relax. Look what I found. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. 
My car is parked down the way. Yo, and whoa, you guys have cars here? The door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. Finally we meet, Miss Cat. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Okay, you don't have to be this... Uh, Is it far? Offensive. Mansion. Defensive. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Oh, of course, it's at the top of the. That's God the damn it, you will mention Come on. enough people. We got some Come driving on. to do. Damn, those are some scars on that guy's face. About widening his smile, I guess she's already done that once. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Oh wow, I have not seen a more, much more creepier place than this. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him, so he's got nowhere to go. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to... I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the hall. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas any... Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Alright, that's... Well, let's not Night waste any time. Falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why All right. Not? Sure. You can help. Right. Stay with me. Keep my Let's enemies go. closer. Well, anyway, guys. I'll see you all in the next episode of this god-awful game. Bye-bye.